Hey everybody, it's Trey, and today we are playing Firewatch. Again, we are playing day, what is it, uh, we're on 77 now? I got a little list right here, I'm keeping track of my days, because they seem to kind of mix together. Uh, last, when we played, we found out somebody was on our radio with us. Now, I don't know if Delilah's in on it, because I mentioned that she was talking to somebody earlier in the game. Uh, we don't know who, but I kind of think she's in on it. And my need, my dude needs to stop like hitting on her because he's got a wife in Australia. That's probably a terrible accent, but anywho, let's play. All right, so we left off uh, her saying, "Hey, you know that little banner and there's like a tree? Yeah, that tree. Don't say the tree's name, but you need to go to that tree's location." So. That's what we're going. Oh, the wedding ring's off. Us? Uh, no, let's put that back on. Oh, man. I want to know what I'm writing. Let's look around. I seem like I got more groceries. You know what? We did. Oh, my undies. Hmm. Anywho, we did just be. Oh, where'd my little happy note go? I had a happy note here. Um, back when we were, uh, I don't know, what am I saying? I can't even speak right now. We got those materials. That's what I was trying to say. The materials. All right, so I need to go this way. South, right? Yep. Uh, Cottonwood Creek. Fingers crossed that, uh, we don't get bonked on the head again. Although I do got an axe. Unless they bonk me and take my axe. It's like a ritual? Don't remember this. I'm stuck. What is this? It's a blade of grass that shines the others. Outshining blade of grass. Alright, map. Where am I at? I'm right here. Why? <laughs> Why am I here? Let me get back on track. Okay. Saving. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. Don't say it online. Is it a cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed box. the code. It's five six seven eight. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. All right, that's good. Or something to the left of me. It's a new radio. Three blind rats. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. So there's other hopefully. rangers out here. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Let's do it. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. Right. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? Me too, and I'm not even there. None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state okay, coordinator okay. asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and <laughs> now that I've got an axe, yeah, we'll too. know something soon. <laughs> See, you need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. All right, let's go. 
Let's go. Bump, bump, bump. Put that. Burn. I don't know why. Hey. Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. Great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Oh, shit. My thoughts exactly. Our radios were tapped. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. Good thing and I was nice to him. I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Mm -hmm. oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck hey there, indeed. Delilah. We really need to get to the bottom up. of this. That's a clawed up tree. What's wrong with that tree? Can I talk about it? It's just clawed up. Alright, so... Where am I at? I'm right here. I don't need to go any more south. That goes this way. That where that tree is. So I need to, I need to go this way. Okay. Delilah, how could you? I told you to report that. What's wrong with you? Are you trying to get me killed? Oh. All right, rappel down through here. Okay, this might be to the, uh, the sea. Nope. Not the sea, the lake. <laughs> to the sea we go! Alright. Hmm. Part of me thinks it's all in my head. But, it's still gonna be a good game if it is. I'm usually not into games like that, because they make a lot of them. A lot, especially a lot of free games where it's all psychological, like... I'm just fighting with myself, but this game is is really pretty, and I would let it pass. <laughs> you let it pass. All right. Which way would be faster? All right, go this way. Hit the river. Cross the river. Three hundred five. Rope. Rope up. Gate. Okay. Maybe this is a whole, like, realization that he's a terrible husband and he needs to get his priorities straight. Oh, is it a shortcut? It is. Such a strong man. Look at him tearing those thorns up. I want to break free. Now what? <laughs> Can we get down, please? Thank you. I just want to make sure I'm going the right way. Oh, I, my light. I forgot about that. Jeez, that rock keeps getting me, man. And my heart and my... Ugh. Some like jump scares, man. Sometimes they're cheap, but they just work. Everybody knows it, too. I got an axe now. Is that my stomach? <coughs> We're in. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay then. Sorry if y'all don't like the sounds I make when I drink my tea. Just the way I drink it, it just tastes better that way when I make sounds. You should try it. Ooh. Alright, so we got. We have a suspicious tree laying here. Oh boy, what next? Get off my property! 
Oh, we got a tower here. Oh, it's like a radio tower. The generator. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20 foot tall right transmission there? tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Jeez, smile for the camera. Boom, baby. Alright, did I mess up the, uh... I may have. I may have skipped the, uh, stuff. But... I should have done that. Oh, jeez, look at this. Is my light on? It is. We'll just keep it on for safety. Alright, uh, what was that camera? Is it F? Is it G? F is my flashlight. Is it T? R? X? C? C. C for camera. That's right. Jeez. Alright, we're just gonna take some random pictures. Just to prove that I'm not crazy whenever uh, I wake up and lose my memory. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. She's not talking. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit! You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities and everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry? Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I just wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does, and then get the hell out. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. The black box. Oh, it is about us. Two weeks. Are we in the twilight zone? Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? Their assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We sh Sorry to interrupt. I'm just looking at this stuff. All right, we got program status. We got 10 weeks. Uh, keeps path. Prone to anger. I'm passive. Guilty. Oh my gosh. This is all the uh, answers to my stuff. I keep to the path. I'm passive. I'm guarded. Overview. Subject has fully engaged superior supervisor. Jeez. Trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Subject may be aware of tests. Subject we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. Suspect susceptible to manipulations at nine. Am I that? Am I successful? Just burn the place down. Uh. Think about it. Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? 
All right, let's read Maybe this Maybe they're quick. trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. All right. She's 43. Annually, okay. Traits uh, concerning alcoholism, just reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Um, never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings. Yeah, she's never out of her post. Multiple lovers despite long-term partner Jarvis. Susceptible to manipulation three. Okay. The grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. I'm not burning this. Well, I'm a fire watch. Now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't I think we should right. do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, uh, so fucking wound up. It's all right. I'm about to be gonna... bonked. Just get ready for the jump scare. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Mm. Head back. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. All right, you're ready to be bonked. If I'm not gonna get bonked, uh, then this is crazy, dude. All right, so we got some people looking at us, observing us. Um, why, I'm not sure. We'll go out the way we came. Take the long route, maybe. Whoa! Whoa! It's called smoke. Oh, dude. Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I just climbed out of there, and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Call it in. Just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Jeez. Oh, wait, that was day 76? This is day 77? Am I confused? It's not... Oh, I got the uh, note up here. Okay, sorry. Oh, I gotta... This receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal. It's going beep, beep. Or at the same yeah, height. what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. Okay. You know what I just picked up? I taped all the letters uh, up. Okay. No. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No. I am getting drunk. See. Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. Shot. My thinking is, I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Yeah, aye, aye, somebody aye. has to. My goodness. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Off. I go into somebody. Now if I hear the beeping, they can hear the beeping too. Maybe I should look at my map and see where I need to go.
Alright. Let's get back on track. I get bonked. That scared me. Huh. Where's the keys? Oh, for the cave. D, I I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics. But it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. Somebody You're wants okay. me to go in the it's cave. Not a trap or anything. Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Mm. Okay, okay, let's just think. I'm Says the woman with a half a bottle of talking. tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Head coffee, yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the <laughs> upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. I don't know if I want to go back to my tower. <laughs> I just want to go home. I want to go to Australia. Oh my gosh. This game. Is this a dead end? No. It can't be. That was a loop to loop. That's a controlled fire down there. Do you see anybody? Well, let's just go up there. No place wrecked again. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. Is he under my bed? Oh. What is this? of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Mm. D, just don't yeah. freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? 78. Wow, that was quick. Man, this game. How can I sleep after that? It's going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, oh. I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. Maybe you should get out of your tower and... We don't have and, uh, a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's going to be in handcuffs. 
we just we have to stick together okay keep our story straight from the first day mm -hmm. with those girls to the yep. person we breaking in on our conversation everything day, we just same day. we got to be honest and consistent yeah i suppose you're right i know we did nothing wrong let's go to the cave yeah, man, we did... Oh, this is dusty out here. Or smoky, right? Yeah, we did nothing wrong. I made sure everything I did and said was right. Um... I mean... Do I have my wedding ring on still? I better. Hmm. There's a porta potty So cave's this way. make that call right to, to the other lookout it just stuck in my craw I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me but now that I asked I kind of just wish I hadn't of course I didn't no way they're just they're trying to pit us against each other yeah yeah you're right I don't remember making that's a call. not gonna happen though thanks Henry I'm gonna be I'm gonna be straight up you know, I'll help you out, but you don't need to be drinking on that job, and you definitely shouldn't have said that <laughs> about that fire situation. Just burn the place down. Not cool, dude. Can we play with the echo? We're here. Shove by bashing it with your fist. Is that shoving or hitting? Alright. Oh, what the hell? Did that, am I locked in here? I cannot unlock it from the side. Whoa, some. Is Delilah? Long steep drop that I'm not gonna mess with. All right, give me one second. I gotta let the dogs out. I just heard some whining, but they were just yes. they were asleep. Yes. Was I saying something this whole time? Oh, time to squeeze. Fat man squeeze. Got my wedding ring on. That's good. Good son. Be trustworthy. I have a feeling I'm about to fall at that rock. That rock does not look safe. But it is. Freezing in here. What is that? There's something down there. Can't get to it. Oh, can I take a picture of it? A shoe. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm late. That was weird. So we're out of the cave, but where are we? What? Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th 
There's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. You know, it's, it's funny. Forever. Hmm. That way. It's funny how she was like, did you see anybody? I mean, I guess, I feel like she did this. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that she was the one that tried to trap me. We know we never see her. I thought we were supposed to meet her at the cave. But maybe I just didn't understand or get that point. What is this, dude? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. Oh, dude. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. No, let's take it. Let's steal it. Science homework. Wow. Alright, let's see. Let's skim this. Uh, talking meteors. Ham radio. Let's see. What if I told... <clears throat> what if I told you that you could use meteors in our atmosphere to talk to people far away? You would probably think I was a liar, but you would be wrong. Meteors, the alien rock that comes to our planet from outer space, could be used to bounce ham radio waves off of and let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now you're thinking, okay, Brian, <laughs> it sounds like a movie like Flight of the Navigator. It's not real. But you are wrong. It is real. It is science. Okay, so he's, how old was this kid? Because it seems like he knows more about meteors than I would. Let's look at this. Alright. 0.5446 rope. 5. Okay, he's got like a, a list of goods up in here. A bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... <sighs> I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. We have a postcard here, let's read it. Dear Mr. Zackler, I'm with my dad at Landers, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Wyoming, right? Yeah, I believe so. Dad finished Dad finished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but there are mountains and woods where when you go far. Okay. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. Okay. There's some grade A dork contraband. Okay, that's his character. He's a ranger. And here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Yeah, between this and the map I found in my tower, old Brian created quite the fantasy world. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Yeah, he did. All right, we got a note to Ranger. Dear Ranger, hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? 
My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska, 69101. Where's my cursor? Okay, let's go ahead and scroll down. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You're probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's and I didn't want him to lose them. But I didn't... I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. Oh. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. Okay. I hope he's... I, I, I hope uh, Brian's good. I hope he's good. Uh, we're doing good. So since we got that, we go in the cave again. That's cool. That's cool. What do you think is in there? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? A, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yeah, especially now that I'm thinking about all the fun ways to be killed. I'm sorry. Look, at least whoever locked you in doesn't know you've gotten out. Hopefully you find whatever they're hiding in there, and it'll be worth the risk. Okay, so drop down and go back this way. Hmm. I got ankles of steel. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. What a bunch of idiots. I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. I don't know. You're probably right. I'm going. I'm going the way I need to go. I don't know. I'd ask, but I mean, why are we listening to her? Because it seems like everything she suggests to do is a terrible idea, like burning the place down. Pretty dumb, and if you ask me. Alright, hop over here. Hop over. I bet. Hey, I know I was a weird creeper that you thought I was peeping on you, but uh, why couldn't she do it? I need a flashlight up in here. Alright, I don't need a flashlight anymore. <laughs> Alright, are they gonna shut the door on me again? We shall shove it. Okay, so there's a drop right here. I feel like I hear my dogs. It's like, ooh. But I know they're sleeping, hopefully. It's the same sound I heard before. <sighs> oh, no, I'm getting a workout in. Look. Try, there's a shoe or something that was somewhere. Like up over here somewhere. I hope I don't go too far down or I hope I don't miss it. But if I miss it, then I miss it. That's probably gonna be like, there's a shoe here. Chills all over my body. Oh no! Oh god, you're Brian Goodwin. No! You out. Your stuff gave out. Oh, you poor fucking kid. Hmm. 
No, dude. It, the people that are out here, are they looking for him? Is that what this is? Oh. Let's go ahead and Jake Paul this real quick. Dang. No, I didn't. That's the one thing I didn't want to see. I thought he got out. I, I was hoping he got out okay. <sighs> that was the shoe. That was up, up there. Jeez, man. That yeah, just sucks. You just don't. You don't think about. You know, a child or a kid get into that situation until it happens. Okay, shortcut down. Why does somebody shut me in here, though? That's the whole thing. Does she know? And she didn't report it just because she doesn't like reporting stuff? Because she's a terrible watcher? Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. You need to call search and rescue. Um, what? There's a body in the cave. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. What do we do now, D? I mean, are you okay? No, I'm not. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's, there's, there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Day 79. Jeez, man. Alright, so I guess we're leaving today. Yep. Dude. This, this smoky smoke. Packing up my stuff. You see that plane? Uh, nope. No, I was, I was busy. just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is two percent contained. What well, is this? The June fire or the site fire? Or... Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec? You know about things. About what? About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's gotta be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Well, fuck. Uh, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you
you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I mean, am I walking into a trap right now? I hope not. I would much rather remember you from a bar somewhere and not a jail cell. Please find who made that tape. Probably in a jail cell. Somebody had to know he was in there because I got the key. The key was planted on me, right? So, does that mean somebody knew but didn't report? Is this Delilah planting it on me just to make her feel like she didn't know but she did? And I don't know. This is kind of... Kind of eerie. Where can I find my body out here? Whoa. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. <laughs> Something's up with her, man. She knew something. <laughs> she's so she acts so strange. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and... Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. No, it was an accident. He's but... got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. He... God. What? 
back. Nothing, just some of Ryan's stuff. Poor kid. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. I bet. I'm just gonna collect all this stuff. I'm not gonna read it. It's just report drafts. Yeah. Oh, from the team's campsite. Oh. Supplies. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. <sighs> this boombox looks familiar. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 <laughs> acres and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. He's not really talking to. He had quite the view. Hmm. Alright, so let's get out of here. I think that's everything in this little place. Alright, let's go. Uh, dad trying to teach his son how to climb. The accident happens. Dad didn't know what to do. Thinks, I don't know. Does he think that he's going to get in trouble if he doesn't turn himself, not turn himself in, but like report it? See, maybe it's. Maybe it's just like you don't know what to do at the moment, but I don't know why people. Now you hear people on like TV shows like I I didn't kill him I just didn't report it because I was scared I was going to be guilty. He's like, as uh, don't know what you're thinking, but that's not how that works. Because if you don't report it and you were there, all right, evac points up there. Let's go this way and then up this way. It's gonna be sad though, man. Jeez. <laughs> but we know who's all out here. Um, it's I guess it's not in my head, which was kind of kind of nice. Um, it just sucks. I really do hope that uh, when I do leave that story will pick up to where I'm back with my wife and just kind of really learned a lesson. I really don't want to be like, get the option. I know option. I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. I think I think that Ned loved him I don't want to hear it he, he obviously didn't want to forget him he just didn't know what to do Henry not knowing what to do isn't okay when you're supposed to look after someone you you figure it out yes and Ned Goodwin is a shithead who is incapable of figuring anything out mm. sorry I mean, she's right. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. 
You didn't do anything wrong. You said it yourself. It was Ned's job to look after him. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. You do. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. Yeah, and you tell him. <laughs> it's Ned's fault, man. Why you gotta... Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, it's dangerous here, and and if anything were to happen, then that would be on me. So. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um. You sure that's okay? I said it was. If we keep on talking, I'll be there. All right. Um. I should go. Have a safe flight. All right. Have a safe hike. All right. So. I'm making my way up there. Uh, yeah, he should have, man. You never know what's going through somebody's head when stuff like that happens. So you can't be too quick to judge. But from the outside looking in, he should have reported that crap. I mean, it's your own son. Like, if something happened to your own son, you'd want to do as much as you can. engulfed in fire when I go across here. Um, let's see what she's got up in here. White and shorts. Alright. Let's keep that. Okay, so she's not too crazy. I thought she was going to have like surveillance pictures of who I was and stuff in here, so that's good that she's not a kook. Kook, kook, choo. She's got the sign of Pork Pond. Oh my gosh. Alright. Anything else in here that we need? That's it. Did we just sit out here and wait? I do just can I use it. Oh, I was like, I can finally use the bathroom. Or there's a plane right here just chilling. Do we just stand here and uh, wait? Maybe we get in the binoculars and just wait. Radio's here. Maybe we can use it. Okay. 
Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red? Colorado plates? Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Hey, that's a man's pickup you're talking about. <laughs> I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented... One fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Go home. Tell you what. Go your why wife. don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe. Oh. Well, you could always go take over the crossword at the New York Times. Oh yeah, I could probably fall right into that. New York, big city. Couldn't be further from here. I've never been. Well, when I end up out there. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I know what, what I about do. me. I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Yep. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah, sure. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just, uh... I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? <laughs> yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. Hey, you too. Good luck. No. Henry, you keep it for yourself, okay? Bye, Hank. I wish she called me before. See, I didn't want to make them have like a love interest with each other because with his wife being in Australia, you kind of like throwing, throwing something away that you don't want and get something new made on. You take it all good and bad, man. about a freaking good game what, what? oh my gosh oh man i don't want to get in trouble with that music all right so recap on the whole game you're henry your wife has dementia you go i guess escape because you're you know i don't know you can't get your life together when she's at home you know, going out drinking and getting a DUI. So he goes and he picks up a job to be a fire watch. And uh, while her family's in Australia taking care of her, crazy stuff happens. You think people are like, 
in my opinion, I thought it was like some government's cover up or whatever. And uh, people keep bopping me on my head, or then sometimes I'm like, is this just a dream? And I'm trying to realize who I am through this dream. But in reality, it's this kid dying, and uh, his father didn't know how to handle it too well. And instead of reporting it, he kind of covers up everything and tries to keep other people away from the situation, which is is dumb. One and two, like that backpack situation where there's a backpack and then the alarm was behind it. Like, who set that up? That was kind of weird. That's almost like he wants them to find it, but he doesn't want them to find it kind of situation. I don't know. It's just a sad, sad place. Really good game. Really good uh, surprise. Um, I wonder if there was like different endings. Like maybe if I would have said, "Yeah, come move with me to Boulder," if she would have been like, "No, you need to go with Julia," or "Okay, I'll be with you." And then I just uh, throw Julia aside. God, just I don't know. That's that's this is the situations in all this is just tough. Um. But other than that, it's a freaking good game. What a game to start off the year with uh, playing through on YouTube. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.